Hey guys, it's Fred here. So recently I bought myself an Instagram shout out and I thought I'd share my results, what I learned and tips for you in case you wanted to try it for yourself. Since Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms currently, I think this video will greatly benefit you if you're looking to grow a personal brand. And I also think that buying shoutouts occasionally is a good way to grow organically provided you follow all the tips you have at your disposal and do it correctly. So be sure to watch until the end of the video for all of my power tips based on my personal experience to help you grow your Instagram and to optimize your shoutouts. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. So this is my Instagram account and as you can see I currently have a little bit over 600 followers. It's June 8th right now but I actually bought my shoutout about half a month ago on May 14th. And how I even started to consider this possibility was that I was in an engagement group called Executive Mafia. And within this group, there's actually a space for people to advertise services such as shoutouts and like shout for shout and things like that. And among the accounts that were advertising shoutouts, I found one that I thought had the most engagement for the price he was charging. And the deal I ended up with was 35 US dollars for a permanent post plus a 24 hour uh, story post. So I'm going to show you his account right here, it's called Halftime Gods and at the time of my shout out, this person had a little bit over 100k followers. And I also saw that he was already doing shout outs for other people and that they were getting pretty good engagement. Everything seemed pretty ideal except for the fact that his page was more for motivational quotes whereas mine was more for infographics. But what made me go ahead with this move was that at the time I saw him also shouting out somebody else who had done infographics and that it worked out pretty well. So here you can actually see the post that he shouted out for me. It's how to channel the Avengers in your business and it was a carousel post. Because my rationale at the time was to maximize my real estate which is essentially 10 pages per post. And also to capitalize on the really hot trends of the Avengers and Game of Thrones at the time. But unfortunately, we did run into some speed bumps, which I'll explain shortly, and my results weren't as good as I had expected. So in the second half of this video, I'll go ahead and explain what I thought I did wrong, so that both you and I can avoid it in the future. But first, I'll go through some additional details, step by step, on how I actually set up this shoutout with this person. As I mentioned before, the engagement group I'm in is called Executive Mafia, and as with many other engagement groups, we use an app called Telegram to communicate. And as you can see here, after paying this guy $35 on PayPal, the first thing I did was send out my post. The first 5 pages are from my Avengers post. The 6th page is a call to action page that prompts people to follow my account. And the last 4 pages are from my Game of Thrones post. Again, if you want to check out these actual posts, you can go to my Instagram account or the guy who shouted me out called Halftime Gods. And after sending him my post, the next thing I had to do was write a caption for it. To do this, I looked at the other shoutouts Halftime Gods had posted on his account and essentially copied how these other people had done their captions. One interesting thing is that people have said to include your handle as much as possible in your caption and also to repeat it in many rows so that people with fat fingers are more likely to click on them. And as for hashtags, you want to have a mixture of rare to common ones, but you also generally won't go wrong with the ones that the page that is doing the shoutout for you typically uses. And lastly, as part of our deal, I also got to design a story post which can be easily done on Canva. And at this point, everything looked perfectly set up, and this person even told me when he was going to post my post. However, my heart dropped after opening up his page to find my post not looking like what I'd intended. As you can see here, my first page actually looked like it had some huge um, grey rectangle blocking much of the picture which essentially ruined my post because you couldn't see the Avengers at all anymore. At the time, this post was around 7 hours in upon him posting it, and had only garnered around 500 likes, which is well below his usual engagement rate, and I did get about 20 to 30 followers from it. I think what happened was something bugged out when I was downloading the pictures and before I sent them to him. But fortunately, this person was nice enough to delete that post and to repost my post a few days later. However, he did not repost my story post. Although he said it wouldn't really matter and I didn't hold him against it. Now, for my results. As I said before, my post was essentially posted twice on two separate days, with the first one being a fluke and giving me about 20-30 to 30 followers, and the second one garnering about 1000 plus likes to this day, and about 70-80 to 80 followers subsequently. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with what I got for $35. 
Especially since most of the followers I got are organic, and the fact that it's usually pretty difficult to get organic followers when you're first starting out. And before I end off the video with some power tips for doing Instagram shoutouts, I'd like to first point out my biggest mistake which is not picking the right post to fit with this account or just not picking the right account to do my shoutout with. The reason I'm saying this is that this account, Halftime Gods, usually gets thousands of likes on its posts, but mine only garnered a measly 1,200 after a few weeks, perhaps not taking into account the fact that this post was posted twice, but still it's on a very low end considering the number of likes that this account gets on average. And this probably goes to show that the people who chose to follow that account didn't sign up to look at my type of posts, but posts that are related to motivational quotes and cool looking pictures. So if I were to do this again, the biggest change I'd probably make is to pick an account that fits my niche a little better. And now let's go over some power tips for if you want to buy some of your own shoutouts. This is not only based on my best practices, but also what I learned and what I would do differently the next time. First, like I said before, to really maximize your shoutout, you want to make sure your page and your post matches the niche of the post you're picking for your shoutout. And in order to find pages that are actually offering shoutouts, you can just try googling, join an engagement group like I did, or just DM big accounts to see if they're interested. Many large accounts do in fact offer shoutout services, and you can tell even just by looking at their page and seeing if they actually reposted anybody else's stuff. Again, the rate that I was quoted was $35 for a permanent post plus a story shoutout on a 100,000 follower account. I do believe this is considered on the cheap end. And for my second tip, what's also very important other than the number of followers an account has is to look at the actual engagement that they actually receive. This is important because followers can be bought while organic engagement is very difficult to come by. Again, ideally you want to look at any shoutouts they've done for other people and the types and amount of engagement they've received. And as for my third tip, this one is optional, but some people actually advocate negotiating for shorter duration shoutouts in exchange for you paying them less. And this is because usually a post will receive the most amount of exposure within the first 12 hours or so. So if you really want to maximize your spending on shoutouts, it might be wise to negotiate something like a shorter duration post or story shoutout. This could be advantageous for both you and the person doing the shoutout because not only do you pay less, the other person also frees up more space and time on their account to shout out other people so then they can make more money as well. And those are my initial tips for choosing an account to shout you out and the negotiation process. Moving on to my second set of tips, we're going to be looking at additional actions you should take to really optimize your shout out. First, and I actually did this myself, you want to ask the person who was doing the shout out when the shout out will be posted and time a new post of your own to get that increased engagement to your post as people are viewing that shout out. This is important to take advantage of because as you probably know, an Instagram post that gets a lot of initial engagement will be more likely to be found on the discover page. And those rare occasions that your post gets discovered and become viral are also the times you'll be getting lots of followers. And as for my second tip, when you're picking your post to actually give to the person to do the shout out with, you want to ideally pick posts that have already had a proven record of success. And what I mean by this is that these posts should be the best content from your page that have gotten the most engagement and have converted the most followers to your page. And as a bonus tip to help you with this, I actually recommend converting your page to a business account because a business account actually gives you access to certain analytics including how many impressions the post has garnered, how many people discovered it through hashtags, how many people visited your page upon seeing this post, and even an estimate of how many people followed your account upon seeing it. And with this, you'll really be able to pinpoint the post and specific hashtags you'll be using for that shoutout. And lastly, for my third and final tip, you want to make sure your page is actually worth following which means you already have a decent number of unique posts and an actually compelling reason and niche for people to want to follow your page. For this, remember, content is king. And that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one and for more videos on how to make money online and to build your digital empire. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.